tell you, I am sick. And the reason I'm sick is because I just saw the vid shot a video and I was just running my mouth, you know, talking, talking, talking. And I wasn't looking and the angle was off. So you can hear my voice, but you can't see me at all. So it looks like a voiceover and it's just a, a B-roll shot. But it's me talking to y'all, man. Anyway, just left Best Buy. I got my laptop for real this time. So I'm super excited about that. About to go home and crack that open. It is really ugly outside today and it's cold. I don't mind dark and gloomy weather if it's raining, but what I don't like is the cold. I'm not a fan of the cold at all. So, you know, I don't think I'm gonna be too much joy riding or anything like that because I just don't do well in the cold, man. Um, I'm not beefy enough, I'm not bulky enough, you know what I'm saying, to be equipped to deal with the cold weather. So your boy just does not like it. Um, I was gonna try to go get some iced coffee, not iced coffee, it's too cold for iced coffee. I was gonna try to get some tea or something like that and chill, but I'm going home. I got tea at the house, so I'm gonna probably make some tea and play around on this laptop probably record a laptop review video and see how that goes but yeah man i'm i'm going home so i don't have too many views or anything like that going on today it's just straight to the crib but i hope everybody's week is going well um if you haven't already then of course make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button as we are slowly approaching 500 subscribers super great for that super excited rather um a lot of things in the work i'm trying to secure some sponsorships so we'll see how that goes um partnerships and all that you know with um the channel growing and my instagram being pretty decent size as far as a follower count i think i can start leveraging those things in order to try to get some income in man um so that's just where we are and a lot of people keep asking, like, am I in good spirits? Am I worried? Am I nervous or anything like that about, you know, not having a job or anything like that? And the answer is no, man. Um, I've been here before under far worse circumstances. And I'm just grateful that I'm not in that situation anymore. Um, so for me, this is just like growing pains. I mean, I always tell my wife, you know, I was able to climb a lot of tax brackets in a very small amount of time. So, of course, there's going to be bumps and bruises and things aren't going to be absolutely perfect because, you know, it's just the way things work. But definitely going to bounce back. And the wife is a trooper, man. I think I say it every time. Shout out to her, man, because she's a rider. She's definitely holding it down. And, you know, she's like, don't just rush out there and just take anything just to have work. Like, make sure you get something that's fulfilling for you. That way you come home and we're good. Like, I don't want you to be back out there stressed out and aggravated and dealing with all types of things that, you know, don't make you happy. So, you know, we have a really good partnership going on at the moment. And I'm just truly grateful for that more than anything. So everything else is falling into place. It's just timing and whatnot. So staying the course, staying consistent talking to y'all helps out a lot back in my journaling bag recording and actually writing things down so your boy is good man i've been really taking care of my mental health but it's crazy out here people drive very reckless and wild under these circumstances so i'm gonna let y'all when i get home i'm almost there anyway all right, so I came here because we desperately needed some calendars. Uh, well, a calendar, rather, and I'll go into detail later. The reason I ended up doing this voiceover instead of me talking, as you can see, my lips are moving, is because they had the weekend blasting. And as much as I love the weekend's music, your boy does not want to get any copyright marks. So these are the two calendars that I picked. But ultimately, I ended up going with the paper one that we could write on rather than the dry erase. Remember how I told you I was going straight home? Well, I almost got home and then I realized that I was supposed to buy a calendar so that we can keep up with our dates. And so I got there to Office Depot and I started recording. And then as I was recording, I realized that the weekend was playing in the background 
and as much as I enjoy the weekend, I did not want to get a copyright hit. So, yeah, we B-rolled that on out, and now I'm headed back home. And I wanted to take a second to shout out my girl Deborah, um, who is one of the subscribers in the channel. Um, Deborah asked me about how we budget and how we save money, and a calendar is definitely a good way that we do that because we know what's coming and when and we can prepare as needed and work off of that but also um let me tell y'all so i bought two calendars at the time and then i realized you know under normal circumstances i would have kept both of them calendars but now it's like right now it's kind of crunch time so it's like do I really need two calendars? So I put one of them back. And you know, that's something that I think will help a lot of people out as well. Just putting stuff back, returning stuff, not keeping things that, you know, they aren't using, getting rid of stuff that they aren't using the whole night. Um, that's a great way to not only budget, but save money and also make money. You know, just if you don't use it, get rid of it, man. Um, I am not above at all going to Plato's Closet or um, the sneaker consignment shops or anything like that, whatever the case may be, in order to try to save some bread, man. My bad, I was just looking at this sign. Um, business idea, wife, yeah, I were talking about. I wanted to see what was going on with that. But yeah, we just get rid of stuff. Now granted, Plato's Closet and secondhand shops like that, um, you don't get as much as you would if you put it on um, Google or not Google. What am I talking about? What, is, what am I talking about? If you put it on um, Amazon, maybe, but Amazon doesn't really let you sell the way that they used to, from my understanding. But eBay, Facebook Marketplace, things like that, you know, you can cut the middleman out because essentially what you do when you go to Plato's Closet is they wholesale it or they buy it from you for the low, sell it less than retail that way they can split the difference and take a profit so your best bet is to try to figure out how to sell it yourself or go to a consignment shop where at least if they move it you'll get more than what you would have got from a play-dohs or something like that so those are a couple tips that we use um other than shopping at cheaper grocery stores like little and aldi's um it's mostly it buy in bulk when you can where, I don't know, it's like, you know, when it's crunch time and when we down and we close to our last, that's really when I come alive in terms of saving and figuring out things and getting stuff done. So hopefully those strategies help somebody. Um, we got a couple other things that we work on and we do. Um, I'm not gonna talk about those yet because they aren't actually in motion. But once we put them in motion, I'll definitely share them with you guys, of course. And now, I'm actually on my way home for real this time.